Welcome back y'all to Weston Smith and today we're actually going to be fly fishing for the first time using what we believe to be the world's cheapest fly fishing combo. Let's go. It's a bass! <laughs> we got a bass on the fly, baby! Fish on, bro. <laughs> Fish on. No way. What is for dinner, y'all? So this was actually filmed yesterday with this brand new Martin fly fishing combo that I found locally at Academy. You're going to hear the whole story here in just a minute on how we believe to have found this $40 Walmart fly combo and how it was going to be the best thing since sliced bread and literally the cheapest thing we could find and we came across this. I wonder if this is the same price. She ran the price check. This one was cheaper. I also found it online at Amazon. It is a $32.46 after tax combo with everything an eight foot fly rod the reel the fly line as well as the leader and flies and a little tackle box you have everything you need literally to hit the water and start fly fishing something we had never done before i do give out a little bit of advice take it with a grain of salt but i think i put this reel on backwards as the day goes on and we kind of learn how to cast this thing but uh definitely do your own research and check out some videos on how to cast a fly rod how to fish these things because uh i I went in blind. Absolutely. We ended up fishing a spillway with some raging current. We fished uh, some creek areas. We also fished a couple ponds to end the evening and we caught a lot of species on this. It's actually a really fun video. Whether you're into fly fishing or not, I assume you're into have some interest if you clicked on this video, but at the same time, I know a lot of my typical viewers is traditional bass fishing content. And with that, I think you're gonna actually enjoy this video. <laughs> we did mess a few things up as you'll see. And also one thing I just realized as I grabbed this out of the garage, like I didn't hear this at all yesterday. Clicking, like it's got almost like a drag, but I didn't hear that at all yesterday. And I don't know what activated it. There's like a little button on the reel here. Never mind, I figured it out. It's this thing right here. If you push it down, now it's silent. And then you hear the drag. So tell me when you would want the drag on versus not want it on. Do you like, you cast without it on and then you want to turn it on that way you hear like the fish taking line. For 30 bucks, you cannot go wrong. I've got this thing linked. I actually found it on Amazon. I think it's $29.99 and I highly recommend it if you want to try fishing, fly fishing for the first time in your entire life like us in today's video. So let's get straight into it. I'm gonna take y'all through the buying process that we had yesterday and rigging it up as well as fishing it and catching multiple fish for the first time ever. It's a blast, let's go. Welcome back to the channel y'all, it is Weston Smith. We are whipping into Academy as we speak and we're gonna see about grabbing this thing and actually fly fishing for our first time over here on the channel. It is gonna be a joyous occasion. Uh, whether you're just here for the laughs or you actually wanna see some fish caught, hopefully we can accommodate you on either end. And uh, this whole thing started because about a year ago, even longer, you know, we've been wanting to get into fly fishing for a while. We went to that Orvis store over there in like Frisco, I think it was, and everything's expensive. I mean, we were ready to drop some money and get a nice fly fishing rod and reel combo to go utilize and a lot of our content, Devin and I, ended up not getting it. Now I see there's like these budget ones. It's like, how could we afford not to go fly fishing and try this sport out? Well, you know, fishing, but like try this new way of the sport, I guess you could say. So anyways, I see there's this Ozark Trail, $40 rod and reel combo that comes with flies and everything at Walmart. Turns out there's none locally in stock. And so I looked up like places to buy a fly fishing combo around here thinking there's no way there's gonna be anything as affordable as this Ozark Trail budget fly fishing combo. Sure enough, Academy. Woo! Yes! Right down the street has like two in stock. Uh, they're not the Ozark Trail brand, but they're like a Fluger brand or something. You're about to find out. So hopefully this video can shed some light on whether fly fishing is just extremely expensive and tough to get into, or you can grab a kit like this and go out and have some fun, catch some fish, which is our goal for the evening. We're gonna be meeting up with my buddy Bryce. You've seen him in some previous videos. Uh, always a good time when we're out fishing with Bryce. Half of these videos I filmed with him haven't made the cut and made it to the channel just because some days we go out a couple hours of sunset, we don't really catch anything. So hopefully today we're changing things up. First things first though, we gotta purchase the daggum thing. So let me hop in here to Academy. Hopefully they've got what they say is in stock online and we can take this thing out for you. Also, let's try this grapefruit real quick. Tough to beat a good taste in Celsius. New Guggen Bates patch logo hat. Thing is so sick. Let's grab this combo. Is that the one? This is a different one. I wonder if this is the same price. 
Interesting. It's got the flies too, so it's a full setup. But that's not the one I saw advertisement. It had like some cork. Curious if I can find that. Otherwise, we'll probably end up grabbing that one right there. There we go. Now I now I wonder which one's the better buy. I mean, this one looks pretty legit. Look at those flies. Look the cork. That's what I was excited about. Reel looks nice. Not that I not that I know what a nice looking fly reel looks like. Where's like the real handle? Oh my gosh, it's like a little. It's like a little peg. That's how y'all do it out here in the fly fishing world, huh? Yeah, I mean, this is the one I came here for. Let's, let me get y'all's hot take. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. This one's looking pretty appealing right here. It comes with like a whole, a whole kit. It's got a whole fishing getting started with flies. More fly options. Let's just go with what we came for. I like the cork. We'll rock with this. Now there's a handful of flies in here, but like if I were to cast off a couple of these things because I don't know what I'm doing, which I do not, then I might want more and I'm only going to have a couple opportunities to do that. Well, really one opportunity and that is like finding them right here. But I don't know where to look. I've never shopped for flies. <laughs> in a world full of bass fishing tackle, where are the flies? I got a feeling this is going to be tougher than I anticipated. Some of our favorite bass fishing baits they got out here. I just saw a lot of Guggen. I saw the click bait. Here we go. Some soft plastics. Ah, not our target today. You know what? I think these flies are gonna have to do. It said it, I thought it, I swore it said it came with leader, which is really what I need. Would it be on there already? Cause I, I'm not seeing any leader line hidden in this thing. I definitely want one with leader. I'm not gonna be throwing out this straight fly line. It's like so thick, it looks like a shoelace. Let's see what we got here. Yeah, see this one, the fly, look it. This one, the leader is literally right here. It's got the leader. Where is the leader on this one? 4X tapered leader. Wow, yo, this one's already tied on. I'm gonna ask him how much this Martin one is and see. We're just gonna go with whichever one's cheaper, y'all. I'm pumped. She ran the price check, this one was cheaper. Cheaper than the Walmart one or anything I could find online. This is $29.99. I don't know if it's a sale, but this is the Martin Classic Fly Tackle Complete Fly Fishing Kit. And look, there's our leader, there's all our flies. We're about to let them have it. We're gonna tear them up. All I can say is maybe like a couple of the flies in that other one were a little bit more confidence inspiring, but like I see a few options here that look like tasty little morsels on the surface for just about anything that wants to eat today. So uh, I'm pretty excited about this. It's got like an EVA foam type of grip or at least some cheap knockoff foam grip instead of the cork. I like the cork. I like the color of the line on this one a little bit better. It's orange so you can really see it on the surface versus that like uh, teal-ish color. And so that is literally first impression. So let me know if you guys want to see this. Me versus Ryan Rigged and Jimmy all grabbing these combos. One Ozark Trail, one Martin, and one Fluger. And we'll see which one really holds up the best in that budget rod and reel combo when it comes to fly fishing. And also who can catch the biggest fish because that is what we care about out here. I think. So, yeah, I'm going to meet Bryce now. We're driving downtown. Let's roll. I just saved 10 bucks. I feel like I stole this thing, man. I didn't know you could find a fly combo for $30 with everything you need to go fishing. That's cheaper than any bait caster combo I think I've ever gotten. I think I've gotten my cheapest brand new bait caster rod and reel combo for like 40 bucks. And I don't even know if that had line on it. Yeah, I know. Safety first. Oh man, is this the man, the myth, the legend? The Somalian pirate? The leprechaun himself? The non-fish catching machine? Here he is! Non-fish catching machine, Bryce. We got to go mess him up on this fly combo. Let me show you the same, dude. <laughs> what you got right here? <laughs> $29.99. I was expecting to spend, you know, like 45 bucks. That one was like, I think, $32.46 after tax. Insane. Dude, what tying those on is probably gonna be the hardest part. They've got you hooked up for 30 bucks. Yeah, then until you learn how to use it and you're like, this is a piece of shit. <laughs> you know what I mean? Yeah. Back in line <laughs> and leader. Already loaded. No, not to tie. Dude, well, hold uh, on, hold on, hold on. Yeah. They lied. That's, yeah, you gotta tie possible. to your bait. You gotta tie to your lure on I there. thought that too. <laughs> how is that gonna work? Like, what if Obviously, I don't know how to tie a knot? I still can't use this. <laughs> what do you just like go? Man. <laughs> and it's all done. Come on, man. Say, man, stop recording me. I do not consent to this recording. I already got your signature in here. Where? <laughs> Luckily, mine's all pre-packaged up in the container. <laughs> all right, y'all, we made it. We're gonna go ahead and open this thing up and just take the rod and its contents from the tackle box down to the water here. Getting started manual. Flies, AKA tackle box. Oh God. Oh, the rod tip is like taped down. I will tell you that front eyelet 
looking pretty cheap. Last but not least, the reel itself and the leader. This might be the ultimate bank fishing combo. All right, we made it to the spot. I'm pumped. There's like fish hitting on the surface everywhere all around us. All I want to do is fish, and I literally don't know how to fish with this, so let's put it together. I'm going to piece the rod together first, then I'm going to put the reel on, then I'm going to put the line through, and then I'm going to attempt the first cast. Right now I'm lining up the eyelets. You want to make sure they're all on the same side of the rod. What you can easily do with these multi-piece rods is have the eyelets on opposite ends of the rod, and then that's no good for your casting. Uh, or reeling or really anything so make sure all the eyelets are lined up Bryce is already casting with the traditional gear our leaders already tied on that's sick because that was one more thing I would have had to do I would have probably done a uni to a uni I'm just kind of getting that out of the packaging fly fishing leader it goes from very thick to like so thin like the end of this leader is so thin and I don't really know how to reel these fish in you know what I mean I like, do I just kind of pull them or do I use the reel it's about to get next level out here if i could figure out how to even undo this line what if i catch like 10 fish okay i will say they like knot this up so good from the factory that it's going to take you like 10 minutes to undo this line this is all like woven together like figure eight style come on i might have to go get a refund it's like they do like a figure eight weave on all this leader line it's like eight feet long and it's just in a circle like how you'd put your hose up at the house or some shit. not the hose you got him you got him all right, 10 minutes later, let's go. I don't want to over tighten this because it feels like it would just break. Let's just tighten it to there. I think I want to be, it would make sense that I go over that loop and then start feeding it through guides. So that's what I'm going to do. Oh wow, I have zero clue what I'm doing here, y'all. This is going to be really fun. These fish are literally blasting the surface. All right, there we go. Well, this leader is like so thin. I'm going to go with like the smallest one first. I'm just going to see what happens, man. I just want something real small. What have I got myself into? This is like, one three millionth of an ounce where's my leader i just lost it currently trying to get this microscopic line through the eyelet here and it looks like the eyelet is almost welded shut i might have to get a hook from one of these other flies in here punch that out and now put that back in my tackle box there we go got the line through all right let's hit a little uni knot here don't want to be too rough on it because i'm afraid this line is just going to absolutely snap and then i got my line cutters over here so, so far this is the only thing I have used that is not from the kit just to cut the line. Pick that up, toss it in the bag, and let's try and learn how to cast a fly rod. We're rigged up. Look at these big like carp skeletons, holy crap. Oh my gosh, what is life? How does this work? You know what, I think I put this reel on backwards. Does that seem right? You're supposed to have a lot of line out, right? Okay, let me see. So, I've got a decent amount of line out now, and then I think I give it a whip. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, that's not working at all. I think this leader knot needs to go through the eyes. Yeah, definitely. Okay, now I've got the main line through the eyelets. That should, that should help us out a little. Let's see what we got here. Oh yeah, she's real stellar. Oh my gosh. I don't know what I'm doing. Okay, well, we're out there 10 feet. Is there drag on these things? Wow, this is cool. Bro, how on earth do you do this? So I'm going to take like a ton of line out because I didn't get that much distance on that last one. So now I've just got line everywhere. I guess this is how you do this. Throw it. Oh my gosh, we're way out there. Throw it. Oh my gosh, it's a cluster. What do we do? It's a straight up cluster. My fly's out there reeling my slack. Oh my gosh. How on earth, Bryce? Where's my fly? There's my fly. To be honest, I'm kind of in the strike zone. Oh, my line is all over my rod. Wow, this is a challenge. Oh my gosh, they're blowing up. They're blowing up. All I wanna know is how to cast properly. Wait, did something, oh, something just hit my fly. Dude, something hit the fly. All right, let's try and get the basics down here. What is going on? Oh yeah, we're figuring it out, kind of. Hey, hey, I'm like out there, I'm out there. Are you supposed to work it with the reel or are you supposed to pop it with the, oh, there's fish blowing up everywhere. All right, we're in the strike zone. The line is everywhere. I just had a fish hit it. Fish, go. Go. Oh, I'm over there. I'm over there. Come on. The trickiest part for me is not getting this line to like go up and over the rod and like cross it. Oh, oh, I see. see so you gotta have more line out. You see how it's getting tangled? Yeah. You need to let it down and then like help guide it through. When you hold it like that, okay. you're allowing it all to come Let all it up. down, mother. Yeah, we done messed that one up. All right, I'm coming over here. 
I got you. Oh, 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 bro, bro, did you see it? He blew up on it. He blew up. <laughs> I didn't know what to grab. I didn't set the hook. God dang. Fish on, fish on, fish on, bro. <laughs> wow. Oh no, I'm letting him get away. <laughs> oh, <geez. laughs> How do you do it? <laughs> oh, yo. <laughs> Bluegill, bro. No way. <laughs> First one on a fly rod. Oh my gosh. No way, no how. Did that just happen? All right, we're going to try and let Jimmy go here. Let's see what happens. Thank you, son. First ever fly fish. Bluegill. Wow. I kind of wasn't expecting that. I figured it was going to be one of those shad or something, just like bursting. Yep. Yep. Maybe even like a, maybe even a bass. I've caught bass out of here, y'all. I figured out how to get a little bit more distance too. I wasn't letting it go all the way back and like fully extending. I was going too quick with it. My eyelets are twisted. So, yep. I twisted my eyelets. Oh, dude, the rod was about to come apart. That's what it was. All right. Make sure if you got a three piece combo, you're, you're, you're uh, checking it every once in a while because my rod was about to break right there into its little three-piece deal. So what I found is you got to make sure that your main line is out from the first eyelet. If not, it's just going to get caught in the eyelets. So after you've done that, right, swing it back. I'm, so all I'm doing is I'm holding on right here. This is not the proper, I'm, I'm not an expert. This is advice from a first timer. Please keep that in mind. So I'm swinging back, then I'm loosening up with my left hand, swinging back loosening up with my left hand you see the lines kind of going crazy and boom that's about as much casting distance as i've gotten because if i let more line out it just goes all over the place and i i end up messing things up then i'm just kind of working it back with my hand right and then when you get a fish on i don't know the best way to do it to be 100 percent honest so y'all can tell me the step like once you get a fish on like what's the best step to bring them in because it is kind of challenging trying to like keep it on the hook i think i'm gonna have to use my right hand next time to kind of lock the line and as i work it with the left because i was like i was pulling then as it gets close it's like okay both hands are occupied what do i do from here so we're, we're figuring things out but see now i already done messed up I, I reeled in a little bit too much line and now the knot going to our leader is not going to work through the eyelets so i'm going to have to redo that anyways what a success man first time out with the fly combo to catch a fish just to be able to cast with this thing is a lot tougher than you would think. But to land a fish the first time out was really cool. Thanks to Bryce too, cause he was like hooking it up with the pointers there, telling me all the stuff I was doing wrong, which was quite a few things. And I still am, but we're getting it kind of figured out. Kind of, yeah, see, there we go. We got pretty good distance. We're still perfecting the craft. Meanwhile, he's over here where he's seeing all kinds of action in the rocks. I think he's still throwing the Texas rig. Yes, sir. Texas rig, so anytime now and he'll probably hook up we'll see okay so i'm starting to realize there's like other line behind this orange line i guess that's the backing and this is considered the uh fly line or like main so what if i go all the way to the end of it i want to see if i can max out okay so now i'm like to this backing and there's also a rubber band on there so i don't know what's going on to be quite frank let's just get to the boom i'm at the very end of the uh i guess you would call this fly line let's see how much distance i can get with this now Oh, we're getting a knot. Oh, we got a knot. Yep, we're effed. So can you birds nest these? I think I just did. Imagine if I get a fish on right now, like a big bass, that'd be great. Please don't be a knot. Oh, thank goodness. Oh, we spoke too soon. Oh, like magic. You wanna walk it down or do something else? I mean, I'm cool with whatever. Ooh, son. I'm out there now. I don't know, bro. All I saw was blow ups before we got over here. Oh, fish on, fish on, fish on, fish on. Oh, oh how on earth? <laughs> Woo! That's number two in the spillway current, man. Oh my gosh, you're kidding. You're kidding. Aha! Little white bass, that was sick. Just letting that fly sit. All right, see you, bud. Eyelets are crooked again, let's rotate that. Wow, this first piece is just super loose. You gotta constantly be pushing that back in the rod. Yep, that one's not coming out. Oh, it came out. <laughs> and it's all done. I've been getting so lucky with knots. I was about to say, I'm about to just cut that off and try another bait. But let's see if we can get another cast and get the most out of this thing. I do like the fact that it's like with the smallest profile. Should be technically the easiest thing to get a bite on. 
Oh, there we go. I threw right into some active feeding fish. All right, y'all, two fish in, but we're going to the bass spot. Let's see if we can get one to close it out. This has been sick, though. Eight foot rod fit in the tundra. Yes, sir. Like a glove. All right, y'all, we made it to the second spot right before sunset. This could get wild. We got the little baby fly on here. I might tie on a bigger one, honestly, just to uh, switch things up. We're gonna tell you a little bit more as we wrap this video up too about our entire first experience, but uh, we're gonna try and get some fish before the sun sets. All right, all right, this could work. Limited casting locations. Seems like it's gonna be a little harder to cast here. I think I'm gonna tie on a different fly with a little more weight. Hmm, that looks pretty tasty. Let's give that a whirl. I'm gonna go ahead and drop it in the water. Yeah, that looks good. Let's give this a whirl. It's gonna be tough with this like uh, chicken wire type of stuff down here. I imagine my line's gonna get caught. Ha <laughs> ha, baby. Oh, we in the good spot now. You see me over there by the bank? That's the, that's the spot. <laughs> Oh, 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 we're on, we're on, we're on, baby. We're on, come on now, come on now. Tell me I don't know how to cast with that fly right there. Is that a bass? Tell me that's a bass. Bro, it's a bass. <laughs> we got a bass on the fly, baby. Yeehaw. Oh my God. That tells him. <laughs> There's a first time for everything. Look at that, oh my gosh. Bass on the little fly. He couldn't resist. I cast it right up there by the bank, you know. You could throw him out on a circle hook and maybe get a bigger bass Absolutely. to eat this little bass if you want. I'm just trying to help you out, Bryce. I mean, you ain't catching nothing on the drop shot, so. <laughs> <laughs> oh, let's try that again. See you, bud. First ever largemouth bass on a fly rod. That's so sick. I'm pumped, bro. I done learned how to cast, kind of. You miss your shot. It takes skills, boy. Ain't nobody got time for that. Eat it. Something's whipping at it. Oh, I need my shades. I need my bands, my Ray-Bans. There he is. Eat it. Oh, ah, he had it. I'm setting the hook too early. I'm trigger happy. This is too much fun. Plus, I don't have my shades on. Oh, they're fighting over it. They're fighting over it on the surface with it. Look at him hitting it like top water. Look at him. Look at him. Oh my gosh, dude. They're not, they're not getting the hook. They're smart. We're about to put our casting skills to the test on this one. Oh, right on the edge there. That's a good spot, but had like almost nowhere to work. He's chasing it. <gasps> a bass is on it. A bass. Eat it. We are really trying our hardest out here. Son's chasing it. He ate it. He's on. He's on. We're on. We're on. There we go. Second bluegill of the day. <laughs> Come on up here, baby. Let's go. <laughs> oh, he got hooked good. Top of the mouth hook set right there. That's on that heavier fly. Second catch on it. Sick. Nice little bluegill, y'all. We are stacking them up. Multi-species out here. First day ever on the fly rod. Who would have thought? I figured I was gonna, just after those first few casts today, just be getting knots and having the worst luck. And uh, we're kind of figuring it out. I can tell, there he goes. I can tell if I would have tried to cast it here first, it would have been way more of a learning curve because line would have been getting stuck in that wire. There's trees all around. Now I kind of know like how much line to leave out based on the distance I want to cast. I'm making subtle improvements as we go. I still haven't got the, uh, the hang of like reeling them in once they're on the hook and how to flip them up best. It's kind of like, uh, it's, it's, it's all tough. When I give it an aggressive pop with the rod tip versus pulling it, it seems to get more of the bluegill's attention and just like incite them to go after it no matter what. It's almost like defense instead of like, I really want to eat it because I'm hungry. Where'd Bryce go? Let's go catch up with Bryce, see if he's got anything on the drop shot. See what happens here. We got a nice open area, clear water, shallow. Definitely some bait fish probably hanging around. Put him very flexible. Easy does it, easy does it cowboy. That's light line right there. I think that leader's down to one pound. Dude, this one's bigger. Oh, this one's oh, oh, oh my, my God. God. That's a slab, son. That's a freaking tank. That's a tank. No way. It's my head. <laughs> oh my God. What is for dinner, y'all? The bass are eating this stuff. You got any it's bluegill like, swim baits? I think so. You should be throwing it. Look, Look at that. That's a lipper. Dang. Slabs on the fly rod. First ever time. 30 bucks. Let's go. Hit him with that slow-mo release. Yeah, very slow. Very slow. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> well, it's been fun. 
Woo, join us back in here in the kitchen to close things out. I'm kind of bummed because that last catch, I didn't get the hook set, and the catch before, you guys didn't see either. We caught two big bluegill to close out the evening. Uh, what a day on the brand new fly fishing combo. Again, if you guys want to see us do more of like a 1v1v1 with all the cheapest ones here we can find on the market, which is that Pfluger one, the Martin one, which we have here, as well as the Ozark Trail from Walmart, I think I got a few buddies who might want to get in on this whole fly fishing action. Maybe we hit some creeks. Let us know where you'd like to see us fish this what types of species you'd like to see us try and catch on this. Catching big fish on a fly rod is definitely the next challenge for us and what we're looking to do. So maybe I gotta grab some more leaders. I think you call them tippets. I really have no clue. I haven't the slightest clue. It's our first time out here, y'all. We might look great to Orvis down the road, but let's go ahead and get some time under our belt and hopefully do some more fly fishing content. If you enjoyed it, just again, drop that thumbs up. Let us know and we'll do some more of this for you guys, at least mixing it in sporadically with the usual bass fishing content. So that is that. We really appreciate you guys watching all the way to the end and I hope we get out with Bryce again soon. Till next time. Peace out.